Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm doing a uh, setup video for my get home bag that I have here. Um, you know, get home bag, it can get kind of convoluted with all the different types of bags that are out there. You have your bug out bags, inch bags, good bags. Um, but the purpose of this bag is to sustain me for up to 24 or 36 hours maybe 48 if I really pushed it, um, but to just get me home, exactly how it sounds. Uh, sometimes for work, I travel up to 60, 70 miles. Um, I do cross state lines occasionally. So this would just be enough to get me home safely, give me what I need, and um, you know, allow me to have some basic shelter, food, um, and some tools that I would need. Um, you know, this isn't going to get you home if you drove to California and you live on the East Coast. That's not what this is for. Uh, this is more short term, um, but it gets the job done for what I need. Um, and I do mimic this setup in my wife's vehicle as well. So I know exactly what she has in her car. And, you know, if I'm driving her car, I know what I have. Furthermore, if she is stuck somewhere and calls me and says, oh no, I'm, you know, what do I do? I can say, if you look in this pocket, you will find that. And so it kind of simplified things for us. Uh, obviously, you know, mine's set up for a man. Hers is curtailed to what a woman would need in an emergency, uh, but we don't need to get into that. So the, this bag is a 24 hour bag from LAPoliceGear.com. Um, you know, I've had it as a EDC bag. Um, when I volunteered as an EMT, it held some of my gear in it. So it's held up pretty well. Um, I've never had to walk home with it, but we're gonna get into that after this. So this lives in my truck. It stays there all the time. Uh, I don't take it out except for this video. Um, so complementing this bag is two LA Police Gear branded hygiene, or not hygiene, hydration carriers. They would fit a standard Nalgene size bottle. Um, so you could use it for that. And it does come with a shoulder strap on it. So you could use these bottles carriers uh, individually if you wanted. Starting off with this one on the right, and this is also a system that I mimic across a couple of my kits. It's my camp stove cooking kit. Um, so this is in a couple of my different bags when I go camping. I just like the setup. It works and I stick with it. So in this smaller pouch, I keep three things. I keep a uh, lightweight, this brand is Light My Fire, lightweight spoon, fork, little cutting knife combo. Keeps the weight down, keeps the cost down when I'm buying five of these for different bags. I have a handkerchief. Uh, this one I got in a battle box, so it's got all kind of different edible plants on it. Um, extra added survival bonus, but I keep a handkerchief in every kit. And then a pack of some antibacterial wet wipes when you need to wipe your body down, wipe your hands down, uh, maybe clean this off. Uh, so there's 10 of those. And like I said, this is just for a couple days. And then we have the camp stove kit. Uh, this is a Stanley cook set. It comes with a stainless steel uh, can, and then it has two or three stacking plastic cups in there, but I didn't really have a purpose with them. So uh, they got taken out. You just pop your lid off and inside I keep two things, an MSR Isopro uh, fuel canister and a fuel canister adapter. Um, this is found on Amazon. This can be found at Cabela's is where I get them from. And then this is either Walmart, Amazon. Uh, you can find it or a couple other you know, identical products online. And I usually have a 
round Ozark Trail Canteen Cup that's stainless steel on here. Uh, but that has escaped my custody, so we're just going to do without it for now. Um, but the idea behind this is this can screw right onto your camp stove or your fuel can. You pop out these legs that support it, and you can boil some water here to cook your food, um, to purify water, uh, whatever need you may have for it. And I like that, you know, this particular setup can all stack into itself. To do that, I put the cannon upside down, push it down a little bit, and then that lays in there. And then just close back up. In this other pouch, I keep a stainless steel uh, um, cup or bottle. Uh, it is single walled. The reason I use single walled is for, um, you know, you can't put a double walled like a Yeti. You wouldn't want to put one of them over a fire and boil water in it. Um, so this is just a cheap stainless steel single walled cup. Um, you could use, if it was cold out, you could collect snow in it and melt the snow to drink. Um, you know, has a dozen different uses and that just, it, it's a bottle. And then in here, I keep some iodine tablets and the, um, uh, the, they, they remove the taste of the iodine. So these go together. This way, if I don't have the time to boil water, I can fill this up or fill up another water bottle, pop one of these out, and then follow the directions, and uh, you'll have some clean drinking water. All right, now moving on to this front pouch. I keep a heavy-duty bushcraft knife. Uh, this was custom-made for me. Uh, I have some leather loops in there so I could throw it on a belt as well. I could carry it horizontally or vertically. Um, so that just stays in here. LAPG brand flashlight. Uh, just a simple flashlight. But I also like that it has the uh, bezeled cap on it here and a pointier end because this doubles as a self-defense weapon. Um, maybe you don't want to resort to deadly force um, and this will just help you out. You know, you can hold it like that and someone doesn't expect anything other than a flashlight. In here, I also keep a Leatherman multi-tool. Uh, these things don't need any introduction. Uh, they're great to have on hand. Another thing that I keep in all of my kits is a Leatherman or the Gerber. And then in these pouches, I have a couple different things. This is a, a Mylar emergency blanket, uh, just to keep you warm if you needed it. Um, and then I also have a lighter with some Gorilla tape on there. Uh, this is a trick, you know, I might have 10 feet of tape on there and it doesn't take up any space other than the lighter. And then a bag of wet, um, you know, cheap hand sanitizing wipes. Going up top, I have my fire kit. And here is another lighter, some stormproof matches, and a Bear Grylls fire starter. And there's some tinder in there as well uh, to help you get a fire started if you need it. And then they're just in a waterproof kit. Uh, this is another thing that I copy across all of my kits. I like the setup, it works, so I just like to repeat. And then in the back, we have a couple different things. 
I keep a cheap folding knife in there uh, just that I could clip into my pocket if I needed one. This is a Coast brand knife. Um, at one point they were on sale for seven of them. So I think I got, or seven dollars, I think I got five of them and just threw them in different places. This is a regular flashlight, uh, just a handheld that I keep in there. Some extra batteries for the flashlight. And then a headlamp that I can put on has a strobe feature and a high and low light. And then some ready to go paracord. I think these are both 10 foot uh, sections, uh, but it's somewhere between 10 and 15 feet. So that's good to have. Um, paracord's another thing that has many uses, so have as much of it as you can. And then I just keep a thing of hand sanitizer up top and uh, one of those obviously cheap survival bracelets that I would never count on actually needing, but I just threw it on there. And then in the back, there's also a, another pouch back there, and that's where I just keep some more um, paracord. Figure out how to open this. All right, so on the inside, I have a poncho that I could throw on there. It's big enough that you can fit a backpack over it or under it. And um, also this could double as a shelter if you needed to set one up with your paracord. So this is one of those things that, um, you know, you use your gear or in this case, review your gear. Uh, pretty cold out where I'm at. Um, it's actually snowing right now. And you can see one of these bottles is turned into a little slushy. Um, so that's something that I myself need to consider. I can't rely on these bottles being okay to drink from or easily accessible right away. So that's why I have multiple methods of purifying and obtaining water. I have my bottle, my camp stove, my iodine, and lastly, my trusty life straw. Uh, you know, I have maybe 10 of these things in different places, in the cars, in the bags. Um, they're great. I've used them and they work well. And here I have my medical stuff. This is a LA Police Gear Pocket Trauma Kit. Um, so I have some compressed gauze in there, an Israeli bandage, and I also added a um, SWAT T tourniquet. I know that's not the greatest, but it's what I could fit in a compact uh, little kit. This is also a TK4 tourniquet. Um, it's not something that I've used before or that I've even heard much use of, um, but I can tell you that worst case scenario, it can be used as a pretty strong bungee for something. Uh, so that's a double use item. And then I got some quick clot clotting sponge in there. If you're bleeding, you could put that on there and then uh, put your compressed bandage over top. And then this is just a simple boo-boo kit, uh, some neosporin, band-aids, tweezers, uh, little gauze things, stuff like that. And I also keep some moleskin in here. Um, moleskin you can put in, you know, if you have a, to prevent blisters in the military, you know, you get that a lot when you're walking a lot. In this case, I could be walking home for quite some time. So some moleskin is a great thing to have. And then uh, I also, I have a video on this, um, my first video. This is just an MRE that I put together. I labeled it, it was bagged. Um, so this actually needs to get replaced next year. I determined that it was bagged in December of 2020 and I determined that it was good until January uh, 2022. So 
you can watch the video to see the content of that. Um, but it's just some simple stuff that I could snack on. And then in a more long-term scenario, I could use my camp stove uh, to cook some of the other things that are in here. And then lastly, I just keep some extra bags and um, some extra snacks that I just, you know, wouldn't fit in here. So, you know, some beef jerky, propel bars, almonds, and a nature valley. So all of this, you know, was put together with the intention that if I was stranded and I needed to make it back to my house, I'm not trying to survive for weeks on end. And that may be the case. You might have to do that. You might be away from home for that long. That's not what this bag is for. This is for, you know, you saw the pile up on I-95 where people were stranded there for 15 hours. I have 4,000 calories roughly in here. You could make that last two days if you needed to if you weren't doing strenuous activity, or if you needed to get home, that's plenty of calories for you. I have what I need to stay dry, what I need to stay warm, what I need if I get some sort of injury. I have what I need to stay hydrated. Um, that's what this is for, to cover my bases in an emergency. There are a couple of things that I'd like to add, and I'm also open to any uh, suggestions in the comments section, please leave that there. Um, a lot of people keep ammo in their bag. Uh, as I said, I, unfortunately, um, uh, my job requires me to travel state lines sometimes to states that are not so second amendment friendly. So for that purpose, I don't keep ammunition in here. Um, on, you know, that's just the way it is. It's, it's not worth my, you know, 10 years of life because I kept a spare mag with hollow points in here. Um, I, if I can concealed carry, I do that and I keep the ammunition with me, uh, but it just doesn't stay in this bag because this isn't something I want to have to add and remove to every time I go out. And the other thing that I would like to add is, um, maybe some first strike rations or those, uh, 1200 calorie survival bars. Not that they're the tastiest, but if you needed to just grab something, snack on it and go, which I do have that covered in here, but um, you know, it's just smaller stuff. It's nothing that would really sustain you for a while. Um, but this is my bag and um, thank you for watching. So please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer that. Please check out my video, um, home packed, meal ready to eat uh, if you want to see more details about what's in this bag uh, like subscribe please comment if you have questions and have a great day stay safe